Today, Tesla Giga Texas drone operator Joe Techmire has shared some very unique and interesting images from the Boeing Company's site update from Bastrop, Texas. Friends, these images that you are seeing right now reveal interesting details. Joe says, I recently visited the new SpaceX Starlink facility and warehouse in Bastrop, Texas. Lots of progress is evident. And uh, so he says, um, in Joe's images, actually, we see the tunnel between the Boring Company and SpaceX Starlink facility in Bastrop, if you guys are interested in Hyperloop tunnel testing. What we know about this so far is that earlier this year, we learned that aerial footage of the Boring Company's site in Bastrop, Texas, has shown that the tunneling startup is busy with what appears to be a new test tunnel. And now they have progressed a lot. Like other Elon Musk related endeavors, the Boring Company has goals that that lie far beyond its existing operations. Musk has tooted the tunneling startup's innovation as a potential way to solve traffic and urban con and congestion. A bit followers of Elon Musk's companies also speculate that the boring company's technology may be used as part of SpaceX's Mars, actually Mars colonization plans. A key part of the boring company's technology today is Proofrock. It's all electric tunnel boring machine. Proofrock is designed to revolutionize tunnel digging, operating far quicker than conventional tunneling boring machines in the market. As noted by the boring company on its official website, Proofrock's medium-term goal is to exceed one-tenth of human walking speed, which is seven miles per um, day. So you can see how uh, far they have gone based on these images. Do you like what you see, friends? Are you interested in the boring company's activities? Let me know because, you know, I remember when I was doing in stories in uh, Las Vegas, uh, the boring company in Las Vegas did the uh, Hyperloop, right? And those were very popular. So I thought I would bring you this story today and uh, let's see what you think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, friends. Uh, thanks, Joe, for these images. They look very uh, interesting. And I'll see you soon in our next report, everyone. Today, Tesla Giga Texas drone operator Joe Techmire has shared some very unique and interesting images from the Boring Company's site update from Bastrop, Texas. Friends, these images that you are seeing right now reveal interesting details. Joe says, I recently visited the new SpaceX Starlink facility and warehouse in Bastrop, Texas. Lots of progress is evident. And uh, so he says... Um, in Joe's images, actually, we see the tunnel between the Boring Company and SpaceX Starlink facility in Bastrop, if you guys are interested in Hyperloop tunnel testing. What we know about this so far is that earlier this year, we learned that aerial footage of the Boring Company's site in Bastrop, Texas, has shown that the tunneling startup is busy with what appears to be a new test tunnel. And now they have progressed a lot. Like other Elon Musk related endeavors, the Boring Company has goals that that lie far beyond its existing operations. Musk has tooted the tunneling startup's innovation as a potential way to solve traffic and urban con and congestion. A bit followers of Elon Musk's companies also speculate that the Boring Company's technology may be used as part of SpaceX's Mars, actually Mars colonization plans. A key part of the Boring Company's technology today is Proofrock. It's all electric tunnel boring machine. Proofrock is designed to revolutionize tunnel digging, operating far quicker than conventional tunneling boring machines in the market. As noted by the boring company on its official website, Proofrock's medium-term goal is to exceed one-tenth of human walking speed, which is seven miles per um, day. So you can see how uh, far they have gone based on these images. Do you like what you see, friends? Are you interested in the Boring Company's activities? Let me know because, you know, I remember when I was doing in stories in uh, Las Vegas, uh, the Boring Company in Las Vegas did the uh, Hyperloop, right? And those were very popular. So I thought I would bring you this story today and uh, let's see what you think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, friends. Uh, thanks, Joe, for these images. They look very uh, interesting. And I'll see you soon in our next report, everyone. I have some good news 
news about Tesla semis. New Tesla semis are now seen at Gigafactory in Nevada, as you're seeing on your screen, as supplier issues seem to improve. Welcome back, friends. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Twitter user Henrik Zane has shared some rare pictures and a video of the Tesla semi at Gigafactory in Nevada, which makes me think that Tesla is slowly ramping up the production of semi. It's still very slow but at least it's moving the images and videos are going viral right now on twitter and many people have liked and commented on them Henrichs, who goes by twitter name zengler says after a period of very slow production of tesla semis it looks like things are picking up he says he spotted seven tesla semis at the prototype line yesterday at gigafactory nevada the most he says he has ever seen at one time all those tesla semis were with mfg plates and look new mfg license plates are special license plates issued to manufacturers for their own vehicles this tells me the supplier issues seem to be improving regarding to tesla semi production zengler says these appear to be new and will st be stress tested by tesla in order to uncover any potential issues before the next round of customer deliveries they are running these tesla semi trucks hard so what about the production and who will get the next batch of tesla semis first zengler says Soon Tesla will start production semis again for customers, producing semis for again for customers. These will be lower volume quantities, similar to the 38 Tesla semis that were delivered to Pepsi. He writes, my reading of the tea leaves is that they will go to customers who place large orders of Tesla semi and are also willing to invest in the charging infrastructure. Walmart with its 130 semi orders seems a very likely candidate. PGE or UPS with orders for 150 and 125 respectively are also candidates. Thus, friends, I think either in the third or fourth quarter of 2023, we should see these additional customer deliveries uh, begin and we should see more Tesla semi vehicles, trucks on the roads by the end of the year. And things should start picking up from there. Full production of Tesla semi should ramp up only after Tesla finishes the $3.6 billion investment in Gigafactory in Nevada to build capacity for the production of Tesla semi. What do you think about this video and pictures? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. God bless you. Nasser. You soon in the next story. Is unloading the Cybertruck prototype from a big plane to winter test in this very unlikely country. Why in this very unlikely place? I'm about to tell you. Welcome back, everyone. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here the first time, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. A Tesla Cybertruck prototype was spotted arriving by plane in New Zealand, most likely for final winter testing of the electric pickup truck now you may say why new zealand why not in alaska well it's already undergone extensive winter testing at the alaska automotive winter proving ground last year i mean the cyber truck now it's winter until september in new zealand and the southern island automotive test facility is ideal and very private for final winter testing sign off before the Cybertruck enters serious production in a few months time. So the Cybertruck is arguably the most anticipated electric vehicle program to launch this year. We along with about 1.5 million reservation holders have been following it closely at Torque News to have an idea of when the first deliveries of Cybertruck will happen and in what volume, especially in 2023. Tesla's latest official comment on the timeline is a planned delivery event around the end of quarter three, which would mean around the end of September 2023. Now, Electric and Torque News have rep uh, recently reported that Tesla told suppliers to be ready for Cybertruck release candidates in late August and uh, production in early October. 
there have been many signs of Tesla progressing toward production, including some images of the production in Gigafactory, Texas. Now there is another good sign. A Tesla Cybertruck prototype was seen being unloaded out of plane in New Zealand airport. And these uh, images that you're seeing are from the Cybertruck Owners Club. That's where it's come from. Now, while the vehicle is covered, it is pretty easy to recognize it's the Cybertruck, the electric uh, uh, truck from Tesla. It's also not exactly surprising to see the yet to enter production vehicle in that far in New Zealand, as Tesla has used local proving grounds for winter testing in the past. Tesla primarily uses its own proving grounds in Alaska for winter testing, but when it's summer in the Northern Hemisphere, the automaker uses Southern Hemisphere proving ground in New Zealand. Tesla has already put the Cybertruck through winter testing in Alaska, and but now the vehicle is likely going to undergo final testing ahead of production in New Zealand. The Cybertruck is expected to perform well in difficult, snowy, and icy conditions, in my personal opinion, thanks to opinion, thanks to up to four motors powering an all-wheel drive system and rear steering. What do you think, friends, about Cybertruck being tested in Southern Hemisphere? I think Tesla is probably putting the last final touches before Cybertruck enters the production and we see the delivery event. Let me know your thoughts. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. Let's continue the discussion in the comment section below. And please subscribe to this channel. Tesla Giga Texas receives big shipment for possibly Cybertruck production. And in this report, I'm going to tell you all about that. Welcome back, everyone. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here first time, please take a moment and subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news. Tesla Giga Texas got another sheet metal bending machine. Presumably, it will be used to produce the Cybertruck, whose exoskeleton will be made in the origami style. So, sheet metal bending machine is delivered to Giga Texas. Tesla continues to equip its Texas factory in order to mass produce Cybertruck there. Recent sightings by Joe Techmeyer on Twitter showed the delivery of a huge box from Trump. It contained a true bend 5320 sheet metal bending machine probably intended for the production of the Cybertruck, which seems very imminent. It was not the first such machine delivered to Giga Texas. The second delivery indicates that Tesla is looking to set up a production line for large-scale production of the electric pickup truck. Cybertruck's design is a breakthrough. It will be produced from a front and rear single-piece casting, which will be connected by a structural battery pack. Tesla's pickup truck has a stainless steel alloy exoskeleton made in origami style. It is made with the same material that will be used on the exterior shell of SpaceX's Starship rocket. When looking at the Cybertruck exoskeleton, you can see that its outer shell does not look like an ordinary car. There are almost no gaps between the doors on its body. If, um, evaluating the Cybertruck exoskeleton, we can assume that it was made using Trump technologies. Now, Tesla ordered the most advanced version of Trump Band machine. The Trump Trump Band 5320 seen at Giga Texas is the strongest and heaviest machine in the series. According to the technical specifications, its clamping force is 3200 kN. With it, you can bend metal up to 4.42 meters long. The Cybertruck's exoskeleton will be made from 3 mm thick stainless steel sheet. According to a comment from Elon Musk, conventional metal bending machines would not be able to handle this. However, true bend 5320 can. What do you think, friends? How close is Tesla to start producing the Cybertruck at Giga Texas? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. I'll look forward to reading your comments. Let's move on to our next story.